The flu attacks your lungs, nose and throat. Guys, it can be extremely dangerous. Last year alone, almost 57,000 people died and 41.3 million people got sick with flu just in the United States. But you know what? The best thing you can do to prevent flu is get vaccination. I know flu vaccination is a very polarized topic, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you will be crystal clear and know for sure why you need flu vaccine, why get it every year. Also, stay with me till the end as I will be responding to some of your questions and clear your misconceptions about flu vaccine. So with all the information you're going to get today, you can spread the awareness of flu vaccine like a pro and reduce the number of sickness and deaths related to flu. Pretty exciting, huh? So let's get started. So the flu season in US occurs in fall and winter, which is just around the corner. But are you ready for it? If not, don't worry, I'm here to help. Well, if you don't know already, flu is caused by a virus. Common symptoms include uh, fever, chills, cough, sore throat or runny or stuffy nose, uh, muscle or body aches, headaches, feeling very tired. And if complicated, it can cause pneumonia, worsening of asthma, sinus and ear infections. Not only that, but also inflammation of brain, heart and muscles, which is very scary, right? And if that's not scary enough, then guess what? It's contagious. It can spread through cough, sneeze or talk. Yes, talking, because droplets from the mouth or nose of a sick person when talking can get into mouth or nose of a healthy person nearby. And if not that, you can get virus by touching the surfaces, for example, any surface which has flu virus, and then you touch that surface and then touch your mouth, nose or eyes, you can get virus that way too. Meaning if your friend or coworker gets flu, you can get flu and from you, it can spread to your family and other people you interact with. It kind of forms a chain because people can spread flu even before they show symptoms of sickness. But if you get vaccinated, you will get immunity against the flu and can break this chain. Pretty awesome, huh? So I get asked a lot that who needs to get a flu vaccine? Well, everyone needs to get flu vaccine every year. And by everyone, I literally mean everyone. Six months and older, children, teens, adult, pregnant, elderly, what else? Uh, immunocompromised, uh, diabetic, asthmatic, people with long-term health conditions, and yes, even people allergic to egg. The reason I mention egg here is because a lot of people think that since flu vaccine contains egg proteins, therefore people allergic to egg should not get the flu vaccine. Well, to that, my answer is that actually there are two flu vaccines that do not contain egg and are approved for 18 years and older. And even the ones with egg have such a minute quantity of egg protein that it can be safely given to people with egg allergy. Simply because flu vaccine can keep you from getting sick with flu. Actually, studies show that flu vaccine reduces your risk of having flu and getting to the doctor by 40 to 60 percent. And also it can reduce the risk of flu associated hospitalization. Plus, it's an important preventive tool for people with chronic health conditions. It also protects women during and after pregnancy from the flu associated acute respiratory infection. Basically, when I talk to patients about the importance of getting flu vaccine, I give a simple example to help them understand. And I'm going to share that example here. Hopefully it makes sense to you as well. See, just think of getting flu vaccine like installing an antivirus software in your laptop or computer. See, when you buy a computer or laptop, you make sure that it's protected from any viruses. So you install a window defender or any antiviral software, right? Your body is also like that. If you don't get a flu shot, which is like an antivirus, you won't prepare yourself to fight against the attack of virus. And if you don't do that, you will get sick. See, your body gets attacked by different viruses, bacteria, or, or other pathogens all the time. 
Your body naturally has antibodies to fight off these pathogens so you don't get infection. But some viruses like common flu virus has such an innovative genetic makeup that our body naturally is not able to keep up with that and produce antibodies against the virus. So we should get the flu vaccine to trigger our body's natural system to make antibodies against the flu virus. These antibodies develop in about two weeks after vaccination, so don't expect to get its effect right away. So I recommend you be an early bird and start getting your flu shot by the end of August or maybe early September. In fact, some pharmacies are giving flu shots in the first week of August. Basically, aim to get your flu shot by the end of October because like I said before, it, it takes about two weeks for your body to develop immunity. So it's best to get flu vaccine before flu starts to spread in your community. See, now that pharmacists are giving vaccinations, you don't have an excuse that you couldn't get to the doctor's office, you couldn't get an appointment, there's a long wait at the doctor's office. Now you can just walk into a pharmacy of your choice and get a flu shot. It will take you maybe 20 minutes, but think, can't you just spare 20 minutes for your health and well-being? I'm pretty positive you can. And it's no cost to you. Flu vaccine is fully covered by almost all insurances. So make sure you get vaccine before October, no excuses. But let's say for some reason you don't get vaccine by the end of October, that doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. Getting vaccinated later can still help you protect from the flu. The bottom line is you can get vaccinated at any time throughout the flu season. So there are different kinds of flu vaccines available. CDC recommends getting any licensed age-appropriate influenza vaccine. No preference is expressed for any one flu vaccine over the other. But just to keep it simple here, I'm going to discuss types of flu vaccines based on age group and based on the types of virus strains. So based on the number of strains of flu virus, we have trivalent and quadrivalent. Trivalent has three different attenuated influenza viruses, meaning it's designed to protect against three different influenza viruses. While the quadrivalent, on the other hand, as the name indicates, has four virus strains. Now mainly quadrivalent vaccine is used since it provides protection against four different strains of flu virus. And as far as the type of vaccine based on age group is concerned, we have two types. Regular quadrivalent flu vaccine, which is suitable for anyone from 6 months to 64 years of age. But anyone 65 years or over are recommended to get a high dose of flu vaccine. Since elderly people have weakened immune system, they should get the high dose because it provides better protection. I always suggest high dose vaccine whenever I get people at pharmacy for 65 years and over unless someone in particular requests for a regular shot. But in case you go to any pharmacy or any doctor's office and they don't offer the high dose, you do ask them for a high dose if you are 65 years and over. <laughs> Normally for most people, flu vaccine has very little to no side effects. But like any other medical product, vaccines can also cause side effects which are generally mild and go away on their own within a few days. And common side effects from flu shot include uh, soreness, redness or swelling at the site of injection as it goes in the muscle right up here. It can also cause headache. Um, fever, maybe muscle aches, and if you experience any of these side effects, you can simply take Tylenol available over the counter and you'll be okay. But remember, only take Tylenol if you experience these side effects. Taking Tylenol before getting these side effects just to prevent them won't be effective. So don't use Tylenol as a prevention. And as far as serious allergic reactions to flu vaccines are concerned, they are very rare. And if they do occur, it's usually within few minutes to a few hours after the vaccination. These reactions can be life-threatening though, meaning you can get swollen tongue, difficulty breathing, but effective treatments are available, so don't worry, you'll be okay. Now let's jump into my favorite part of the video and answer your questions. I am so excited. I have my phone here. I'm going to read your questions. I was actually looking at the questions earlier this morning 
And I've got to admit that I've got pretty good questions. I'm really excited because it's going to help clear many misconceptions about flu vaccine. So let's see what we have. Okay, so the first question is my favorite question. Someone asked, can flu vaccine give you a flu? No, flu vaccine cannot cause flu illness because basically you're getting a dead, inactivated or killed virus. Therefore, it's not infectious. And that's why it's okay to give flu vaccine to people with a weakened immune system or in pregnancy. However, keep it in mind that there is a live flu vaccine available as well, which is given nasally. And that vaccine has its caveat, meaning it cannot be given in pregnancy or immunocompromised patients. And I don't recommend getting that vaccine anyways, since it's relatively less effective. Hope that answers your question. Okay, so next up is, is it better to get flu than flu vaccine? Really? No, because flu can be a serious disease, guys. It's no joke, particularly among young children, older adults, uh, people with certain chronic health conditions like asthma, heart disease, or diabetes. Basically, any flu infection can carry a risk of serious complications, hospitalization, or death. And it could be dreadful even among healthy children and adults. Therefore, getting vaccinated is a safer choice than risking illness to obtain immune protection. Okay, so the next question, sorry, is why do I need a flu vaccine every year? This is actually a great question. So a flu vaccine is needed every season for two reasons. First, the immune protection from vaccination declines over time. So an annual vaccine is needed for optimal protection. Secondly, because flu viruses are constantly changing, flu vaccines are updated from one season to the next to protect against the viruses that research suggests may be most common during the upcoming flu season. Therefore, for best protection, everyone six months and older should get vaccinated annually. Okay, so the next question is actually another good one. And someone has asked, will flu shot increase the risk of uh, getting COVID-19? You guys have actually asked some really smart questions. Hmm, I'm impressed. Okay, so, okay, jokes apart. Actually, there is no evidence that getting a flu vaccine increases the risk of getting COVID-19. But there are many benefits from flu vaccine and preventing flu is always important. But in context to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's even more important to do everything possible to reduce illness and, and preserve the scarce health resources nowadays. And that's why personally, as a pharmacist, I recommend that you not only get the flu vaccine, but also get pneumonia, shingles, uh, Tdap, and, and any other vaccine that you're eligible for. Because really, at this time, prevention is really better than cure. All right, so that was it for the Q&A session. But guys, with all the information I've provided you so far, I hope now you know how important flu vaccine is. So before wrapping up this video, I do want to address a point of concern that a lot of people have, and I think that's really legit. And I've come across a lot of people who ask that if flu vaccine is so effective, then how come we still get flu after getting the flu shot? And I think that's a very valid question. One reason that we still get flu after getting vaccine is that, that some people can become ill from other respiratory viruses besides flu, such as the rhinovirus, which is associated with the common cold. And we know that the common cold is also uh, commonly spread during the flu season. Remember, the flu vaccine only protects against the flu virus, which is influenza and not any other illness. Another explanation is that it's possible that you're exposed to influenza virus shortly before or after getting vaccinated or during two week period after vaccination. See, since your vaccine does not show its full effect for two weeks and this exposure may result in you becoming ill with flu before the protection from the vaccine takes place. And a third reason why some people may experience Flu-like symptoms despite getting vaccinated is that they may have been exposed to flu virus that is very different from the viruses that the vaccine is designed to protect from. Remember I said the flu vaccine comes as a quadrivalent in 
travel in and so it has just three different strains of virus or four different strains so if you are getting um, attacked by a virus other than those four strains in the vaccine then possibly you may get flu or flu-like symptoms so basically the point is that flu vaccine does not promise a hundred percent prevention but it does reduce your risk of getting the flu and I can tell you this based on scientific facts and my personal experience that even if you get sick with the flu after being vaccinated it's not as dreadful as when getting flu with no vaccination because then it's a uh, short-lived and with fewer or no complications all right guys that's it for today's video well i hope now you know everything you need to know about the flu vaccine so go ahead share this information with your friends and family and protect them from flu like always thank you so much for making it till the end of this video if you have any recommendations for topics or, or questions about something i talked in this video go ahead and jump in your comment section ask there or just simply give your feedback because I love hearing from you. I'll see you next time with another topic on health and pharmacy. Until then, bye-bye.